Suspended public protector Abrakit Buzasiwe Mkwebane is set to host a media briefing this afternoon where she is expected to address allegations of extortion, bribery and corruption linked to her impeachment inquiry. Newsroom Africa's Atim Tongana joins us from Cape Town now. And Ati, good morning to you. The public protector is going to have to do or give some detail and I dare say a little more convincing evidence in order for her to make this believable to the public. And the reason I'm placing emphasis here, Artie, is that we have a person who has sadly died and there are these allegations that have been made by her to suggest that she may have been part of this extortion racket, if you, if you like. And so she's going to have to tell the public exactly the information that she has that she thinks will convince a member of the public that indeed the public protector is quite correct that she was possibly uh, extorted for bribes. Well, it's interesting, Goli, that you speak of the late Tina Jomet Peterson and how she is linked to this whole debacle. I spoke to the ANC's Nomvula Mogonyane not so long ago, who was here to visit uh, the late Tina Jomet Peterson's family and trying to get answers from her about whether or not they are aware, as the governing party, about members of parliament in the National Assembly who are members of the ANC who have been implicated in these allegations. In fact, Nomvula Mogonyane did not even want to go into details around this, saying we should respect the fact that Joe Mitt Peterson has just passed away. But it's also a thorn before the impeachment inquiry in Parliament because they are really struggling to proceed with uh, the hearings because the suspended public protector does not want to continue with the current chairperson person presiding, saying that he is someone that is allegedly responsible for sending out the late Tina Jo Peterson to allegedly solicit a bribe uh, from her husband. And so it is a matter that we know now is before the Hawks, according to the suspended public protector. And that it's a matter that is also before Parliament's Ethics Committee. So she has raised it at those levels. Even during the impeachment hearings in Parliament, opposition parties were at pains to just try and get the chairperson to allow the suspended public protector to address these allegations of bribery, extortion and corruption. She has linked the chairperson, of course, the late Tina Jomet peterson and the ANC's chief whip in Parliament, Pemi Majodina, who has also come out to refute these allegations. Now, what we're expecting her to do today, which is something opposition parties wanted during the hearings in Parliament, so that these WhatsApp messages and audio recordings she claims to have can be put before Parliament's records in that impeachment inquiry, they were at pains to try and allow and get the chairperson to allow Mkwebane to actually get those WhatsApp messages flighted as well as that audio recording to be heard for Parliament's records. So we're hoping at least today when she hosts that media briefing at 12.30 in Johannesburg to be specific, that she gets to actually speak and get into detail because she wasn't able to do so during the impeachment uh, hearings because the chairperson says there are avenues through which she can address these issues and we're hoping that we'll get to see those WhatsApp messages and we'll get to hear those audio recordings. We don't know whether she will be able to do so because often in matters like this, uh, when the of official uh, law enforcement agencies get involved, those WhatsApp messages and audio recordings could be subject to, uh, you know, the law enforcement agencies for their purposes of investigations. So we don't know whether she will be able to flight those WhatsApp messages and audio recordings, but they will 
prove a great deal to those allegations that she has made that the chairperson uh, sent out uh, Tina, the late Joe McPeterson, to solicit a bribe from her husband, including uh, Pemi Majadina. So it's going to be interesting how this briefing uh, pans out fully. Absolutely extraordinary claims there by the suspended public protector advocate Mkwebane. Thank you very much for the time being, RT Mtongana. Well, the public protector uh, determined to uh, make sure that uh, these claims are made publicly and perhaps she shows what she has. Is that uh, trying to, in a way, influence the public opinion as well? over and above the fact that she has said that she has gone to the police station to now lay charges against the chairperson. We're going to have to see how all of this pans out.